Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. Also, there is a overhanging span CD. In the span AB, there is a point to load 24 kN. It is acting in the center. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the overhanging span CD, there is a point to load 10 kN acting in the point D. The moment of inertia for the span AB is 2i. For the span BC, it is 3i. For the overhanging span, it is I. Length of AB is 5 meter, length of BC is 4 meter and the overhanging span is 3 meter. In the points A, B and C, there are hinged supports. In this beam, we have to find 4 moments. In the point A, there will be no moment because it is a simply supported end. So, MAB will be 0. In the joints, there will be 2 moments. Here, there are 2 joints, joint B and joint C. In the joint B, we have the moments MBA and MBC. In the joint C, we have the moments MCB and MCD. So, totally we have to find 4 moments. Also, we have to find 3 vertical reactions RA, RB and RC. In the joint C, we can easily calculate the final moments. First, let us find MCD. To find out MCD, we have to multiply this point load 10 kN with the overhanging distance 3 meter. When we do that, we are getting 30. MCD is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, we have to apply a negative sign with the load so that we will get a negative movement. The values of MCB and MCD will be same but they will be having different signs. MCD will be negative because it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. MCB will be positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction. So, to calculate MCB, we have to just change the sign of MCD. When we do that, we are getting positive 30 kN meter. In the slope deflection method, we have to check the number of supports in which slope can occur. Let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. And in the roller support, there will be slope. In this beam, in the points A, B and C, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports in which slope can occur is 3. In the point A, there is theta A. In the point B, there is theta B. And in the point C, there is theta C. So, in this analysis, there are 3 unknowns. If we calculate these 3 unknowns, we can easily find the final moments. To find out these 3 unknowns, we need 3 equilibrium equations. In the point A, there will be no moment. So, MAB is equal to 0. This is our first equilibrium equation. We have already calculated MCB, which is equal to 30 kN meter. This is our second equilibrium equation. In the joint B, the summation of the moments will be 0. When we add MBA and MBC, 
it will be zero. This is our third equilibrium equation. Now let us calculate the fixed end moments. First, let us find the fixed end moments in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN acting in the center. The formulas to find out the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. Using the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now, let us take the span BC and find out the fixed end moments. In the span BC, there is UDL 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. The formulas to find out the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Using the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the span AB. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of AB is 5 meter. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for AB is 2i. So, instead of i, we have to apply 2i. In this equation, we can make the first equilibrium equation. We know that MAB is 0. Let us apply that. Then, let us take minus 15 on the left side. So, it will become positive. This is our first equilibrium equation. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 4 meter. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for BC is 3i. So, instead of i, we have to apply 3i. In this equation, we can make the second equilibrium equation. We already calculated MCB. Let us apply the value. Then, let us take 20 on the left side. It will become negative. 30 minus 20, we will get 10. This is our second equilibrium equation. We have made two equilibrium equations, but we need three. The third equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. We have already made slope deflection equations for MBA and MBC. Let us add them. After adding, we are getting this. Now, we have three equilibrium equations. We can solve these three equations in the calculator and get the answers. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. When we apply the values of Ea theta A and Ea theta B in the equation number 2, we are getting MBA. When we apply the values of E theta b and E theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. So, in this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to calculate the vertical reactions. First, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there is a moment MBA which is acting in the clockwise direction by taking moment about B, we can calculate RA by applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can calculate RB1. Now, let us take the span BC and the overhanging span CD together and calculate the vertical reactions when we take them together, no need to consider MCB and MCD because they will get eliminated. In this case, we have to only consider MBC 
which is acting in the anti clockwise direction by taking moment about c we can find rb2 by applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find rc now let us add rb1 and rb2 so that we will get rb now you can see the shear force diagram Now you can see the bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.